Great. Fucking sweet. Yep. What? What? I'm not, I'm not shocked at all, Tim. Tim, I've, I haven't even been into makeup yet, Tim. I'm not shocked at all. I've been saying this for fucking months. Nearly a year. Uh, the moment you think he can't do it is the moment he takes the White House. Of course Trump fucking won. What is everyone so fucking shocked about? Jesus, the media, the political elite, the pollsters, the markets, you, uh, draw on the floor. How can everyone be so fucking stupid? Hillary Clinton. What were the Democrats thinking? Hillary Clinton, don't get me wrong, I wanted Hillary to win. I'd personally vote for Lucifer over Donald Trump. Trump, the pussy-grabbing, wall-building, climate-change-denying, healthcare-abolishing, tax-dodging, shit-spewing demagogue. How shit have you got to be to lose to that? Where was Sanders? Why wasn't he on the ticket? I, I have no doubt in my mind that Sanders would have beaten Trump's Trump, hands down. But instead, they chose Clinton, a candidate who's been cozying up to the banks and dry-humping corporations for years, who was on record telling her corporate friends that you should have a public and a private persona. In other words, don't tell the truth to the plebs or you won't be able to rip them off. She'll do. That was the feeling. What did they think was going to happen? People keep saying to me, how did this happen? They're, they're dumbfounded, but it's so simple. The left did this. This is, this is my fault, people like me. When are we going to learn? The left have given up putting any argument across at all to the point where Clinton is considered left, liberal. On many issues, Theresa May is less right-wing than Clinton. That's just a fucking fact. And yet my friends are on Facebook saying, I'm with her. I'm fucking not. Oh, but she's better than Trump. Sorry, that's not good enough. Clearly. Clearly it's not good enough. And if, if I see, fuck me, one more tweet containing, a, containing a, a hashtag Trump wins next to a hashtag everyday sexism, I'm going to drop a fucking bollock. Not everyone that voted for Trump is a sexist or a racist. Some of them are, but most aren't. Most people didn't vote for her. Not because she's a woman. They didn't vote for her because she offered no palpable change whatsoever. Same old shit. Trump represents a change, a terrifying change, but a change nonetheless. Hillary represented, well, she represented very little, actually, because she protects corporate interests, because she doesn't call the police when questions from the debate are leaked to her in advance. I noticed we barely reported that. Not everyone that voted for Trump is a sexist or a racist. How many times does the vote not have to go our way before we realise that our argument isn't won by hurling labels and insults? Tory majority, government, uh, Brexit, uh, uh, Trump, what next? When will we learn that the key is discussion? If you are unwilling to discuss, then you are creating the conditions in which Donald Trump and people like him can thrive. But instead of persuading people to vote, she just, she just courted celebrity endorsements and then lost. What's going on? It's almost as if the political acumen of Beyonce and Jay-Z count for nothing. And then she loses it and, and loses the election and she locks herself in her hotel because she's too upset or because it had never occurred to them to even write a concession speech. Either way, grow up. I have no sympathy for her whatsoever. Be a better candidate. <sighs> but uh, thing is, I can't say that. I can't say this to any of my friends, Tim. People like me, I, I'd get fucking lynched if I said this because people like me won't listen. I, I did this. This is my fault. Fucking Donald Trump. The left is responsible for this result. Because the left have now decided that any other opinion, any other way of looking at the world is unacceptable. We don't debate anymore because the left won the cultural war. So if, if you're on the right, you're a freak. You're evil. You're racist. You're stupid. You are a basket of deplorables. How do you think people are going to vote if you talk to them like that? When has anyone ever been persuaded by being insulted or, or labelled? So now, if you're on the right or even against the prevailing view, you are attacked for raising your opinion. That's why people wait until they're in the voting booth. No one's watching anymore. There's no blame or shame or anything, and you can finally say what you really think, and that is a powerful thing. The Tories in charge, Brexit, and now Trump. And all the polls were wrong, all of them. Because when asked, people can't admit what they think. They can't admit what they think. They're not allowed to. The left don't allow them to. We have made people unable to articulate their position for fear of being shut down. They're embarrassed to say it. Every time someone on the left has said, you mustn't say that, they are contributing to this culture. It's time to stop moaning. It's time to stop crying over spilt fucking Brexit. It's time to stop ignoring your opponents or worse, trying to silence them. It's time to stop banning people from speaking in universities. It's time to stop thinking that reposting an article on your Facebook feed is political engagement. That banning a gymnast from doing what he's good at because he insulted someone's religion somehow achieved something. 
And sorry, when did the Gymnast Association start thinking it was appropriate to start enforcing blasphemy laws? It's time to realise that reading The Guardian doesn't make you a liberal, that retweeting Greenpeace doesn't lower your carbon footprint. And if my mansplaining is triggering you, you can either fuck off to your safe space or you can engage and debate me and tell me what I'm getting wrong. Because Trump just won the White House. Being offended doesn't work anymore. Throwing insults doesn't work anymore. The only thing that works is fucking bothering, doing something. And all you have to do is engage in the debate. Talk to people who think differently to you and persuade them of your argument. It's so easy and the left have lost the art. Stop thinking that everyone who disagrees with you is evil or racist or sexist or stupid and talk to them. Persuade them otherwise because if you don't, I'll tell you what you get. You get President Trump. Right, I need to go for a shit in the shade. Uh, how long we got, Tim? All right, I might need to have to forego the shit.